This is the world's largest structure ever created as an attempt to recreate Earth. Located just north of Tucson, Arizona, this vivarium was initially created as a closed system experiment for colonizing outer space. The structure is 3.14 acres and contains a rainforest, the world's largest experimental ocean, a fog desert, savanna grasslands, mangrove wetlands, living quarters, and an agricultural system. The inventors named it Biosphere 2, with Biosphere 1 being planet Earth. In 1991, eight researchers lived in it for two years to see if it could work. Today, we're here to see what it's like now. All right, we're here at Biosphere 2. You guys saw the intro. We'll go over all the details and the living quarters and all the different uh, parts of the world here at Biosphere 2. Obviously, Biosphere 1 is the earth we're standing on. Uh, right now, the facility is managed by my alma mater, University of Arizona, so they run the facilities here. And the uh, tour is a little bit different now that they've opened back up. But it's still, it's, it's, it might even be better because you kind of go at your own pace. Right now, because of COVID, um, what you have to do, they don't have the tours anymore. So it's like he was saying, it's self-paced. Before you get here, you want to download the app on your phone. So it'll be 103 Biosphere 2 Overlook. Here's a video. And then it gives you like an overlook of what, what you're looking at right now. Right. All right, so a big thank you to my alma mater, University of Arizona, for having us out here today. We're super yeah, excited to come check this go. out. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Let's get in there, go check it out, go explore the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Into the orchard. It smells, it smells good. really good. <laughs> it smells like. I mean, it's the trees. It's yeah. like a fresh scent, citrusy. So we have a lemon, lemon tree, tree there. We have grapefruit, and oh, then yeah, over here fancy. we have a fig tree. Coffee. <laughs> and it's the origin. So it's from East Africa. Yeah, they would grow their own coffee in here, and they would harvest their own coffee. Yeah. It took so many resources, and it took so much effort to grow the coffee that they only had like one cup every two weeks. And that no won't last for me, no. <laughs> so Fresh. Still good. Mm, yeah. It's like you just cleaned. It's <laughs> like, Because guess what? We're in the desert. Yeah. Literally in the desert. We're in the desert. In, in the, the desert. desert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coastal fog desert. Coastal fog. So yeah, this is more of like California. Yeah, it says which is a type of desert that has adapted to environments with higher levels of humidity than our local Sonoran Desert. This is just so cool. Like all of the uh, just the environment here. You can see all of the things. Get to the rainforest, you'll get to see like all the trees that are growing up into the canopy or into the roof there. And the canopy trees, they have to actually go up and trim them from time to time because since the 80s, so much of this has grown up and this has all just been flourishing since then. So, yeah. a lot of new growth, a lot of growth that's been here growing since oh. the 1980s. You can go around here and tell me every single plant that's yeah. here, right? Yeah, there's a okay, hold on, let me see. Can we go find the <laughs> next gonna start side? looking at the tags? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is actually the same tree that we saw down in Baja, California on our drive to and from Valle de los Angeles. These ones aren't quite as full grown, but uh, it's cool that they have them. Here's a taller bosom tree. It's been 
this is forest. I think this is just on the other side of the uh, artificial experimental ocean over there. Ooh. Well, mangroves are to act as the kidneys of the ocean to filter out the impurities in the fresh water that flows from the land around them. And if I recall correctly, they are also very good at um, protecting the, uh, the coast. here now this is the we're in the ocean yeah, we're in the ocean finally ocean see we have an ocean in tucson yes or near tucson so this is the largest experimental ocean yeah it has like seven hundred thousand um, gallons of gallons salt of water, water. Yeah. and it has i think it said like it has plankton algae yeah they have like a wave simulator to yeah. keep like the natural like natural movement of water or the ocean and then it's uh, seven meters deep there in the deepest end. They have algae, they have a coral reef, they've got all kinds of stuff going on. You want to go swimming? I would love to. Yeah, just, like, I mean, it's over. deep enough over there. <laughs> yeah. Give me a dollar. Okay, dollar. Two dollars. So they got some kind of experiment going on at sea. Yeah. We wonder, uh, wonder if we can find out what they're doing. All right, so this part behind us over here, this is actually the living quarters for the uh, the scientists that lived here for, I, don't, I forget exactly how long they lived here, but they lived here for, um, they were supposed to live here for two years, but then uh, their oxygen supply started running out, so they had to pump oxygen in here, but this is their living quarters here. It's closed off right now, but. So they lived in this little dome area? Yeah. And they had, like, I guess, like, uh, the stairs there, too. But yeah, that's their living quarters, and that's all roped off right now. Pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think? Could you do it? Could you live here for a couple well, of years? Well, if it's as humid as this. I would hope they have AC in there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I probably will not be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be more humid? Let's see. further into the rainforest. Yeah, I've seen videos in the past before they had to kind of reorganize yeah. things for COVID and whatnot. And yeah, you're able to walk through the forest and like there's even points where it rained in there. And yeah, uh, kind of a bummer. I know, like we walked a little bit towards the front and then I was like, okay, exit this way. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what that means. You just have to come back. Yeah, we're gonna have, have to come back, come back when it's, uh, do a full video when everything's back to normal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But for now, it's awesome to see, like, we just were in the rainforest in yeah. the middle of the Arizona desert. So. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, but it's still definitely worth the trip up here. Oh, I'm, yeah. You know. I mean, yeah, this is really nice. And I love, because these are all, like, real plants that they grow. Yeah, so that, that's growing. pretty impressive, like, in the desert to grow all these different types of plants around the world. This whole rainforest has just been flourishing since the 80s. And it's just been, like, growing out of control because, I mean, obviously, the original experiment was kind of a failure, let's be honest. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they realized what you said this was supposed to be testing to see if you can live on Mars. Yeah, so it was supposed to be completely outside sealed, like, you know, the, it's completely sealed. I from feel the like outside. there's a movie like that where you're kind of like contained, you can't get the You're probably air. thinking of Polly Shore's classic Biodome. Been in a few movies, but there, there's been all kinds of documentaries about this and stuff. But uh, obviously, the experiment itself uh, failed. Sure, yeah. but it's still valuable. First time, we still enjoyed it even during, you know, the circumstances here. Yeah. Yeah. Bummer we didn't get as uh, in-depth of a tour yeah. as we would like, but we'll next like time come we'll back. come back, we'll definitely have to come back when it's uh, back to normal here. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully we get more of an in-depth tour and go see the lungs and the living quarters. I know. And then maybe walk through the I'm rainforest curious. a little bit more. I'm really curious about the lungs. But yeah, next time we'll definitely have to make sure to get that on video. And then yeah. So yeah, in the meantime, thanks for coming along, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some awesome trips coming up. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>